Oh, it says start streaming, not start screaming. My mistake. Just wait for this to load up. Take that, that, this, and these. Oh, that went away. Scroll back to find what I just saw there. That was pretty good. Bump, 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 there. So this is Star Fox Adventures, except it's a demo version from a demo disc that was released some time ago. This is not a leak or anything, this was publicly released, but it does have a lot of interesting unfinished stuff in it, and differences from the final version, and so on. One thing you might notice right away is this message that's on the screen at pretty much all times. It's got a build date and internal name, memory usage, map number, coordinates. That's not always there, but I have debug mode turned on. Menu is pretty much the same. A little less spacing there, I guess. Nothing different here, just the usuals. The logo on the screen there. We can choose from English, English, or English. The joystick doesn't actually do anything. And also, let's reset and watch the opening movie, because it is quite a bit different. It's mostly early game footage. Pay close attention, though, to Crystal's swagger, and also to the various HUD elements. What's it? What is that on the screen? I don't even know. Got early HUD there. The staff looks a little different color. Different signs in the background. Another early HUD with blue fox hearts and another one with a fuel gauge. And different uh, targeting cursor about the enemy. None of this stuff. Look at that magic meter though. And there's an energy meter as well. This opening video shows all sorts of different early HUDs. That the this actually has the same HUD as the final version, but... That video just shows a bunch of completely different scenes and different HUDs. And I don't know what's on here, so I'm just going to erase it. And we'll put in some hilarious names. Unfortunately, I do not have much in the way of mods for this version, so we're going to be playing as Fox. We don't have the fancy debug menu. Also, this version is unstable, so don't be surprised if it crashes quite a bit. We're already at 77% memory usage. I don't have fast forward, but I can. I know how to make the fast forward, but it's broken right now. That said, the sound is a little out of sync. I have not played through this version before. It very well might not be completable. There are a few spots that it does really like to crash, so I will be making a lot of save states. That is really loud whooshing in my ear. This scene is taking a lot longer than usual before I can actually play. Let's pause and see what happens. There's exactly one option here. Okay. Well, this part looks pretty much the same as the original game, or the final game. I'm 
hoping you can't die at this scene, because I'm not really trying. The sound effects are definitely louder. Or is that even music in the background? The scene doesn't normally have music. One important thing, I forgot to put it in the description, but I'll put it in after I'm done. There's this version has a time limit. After 45 minutes of gameplay, the game just resets itself. And I've come up with a code to disable that so we can actually try to get through it. So once I'm finished, I'll try to remember to put that code in the description. And there's a few other catches like that where it resets itself. I think I've disabled them all. I'm also curious about the differences, that's why I'm playing it. From the sniffing around I've done, there are a fair number. Nice shadow. camera angle seems a little different. Certainly slower and jerkier and not quite lined up correctly. The text is not centered. But it is the same message. Everything looks pretty similar here. I'm not certain, but I think when this was actually made available, it was in some sort of kiosk setup, hence the name, where you wouldn't be able to just choose play full game like you can here. So, you actually only had access to certain levels, but somebody dumped the disc and it has the whole game playable. As usual, we'll talk to this dude. Or do that, as it may be, I'm not sure. So far, everything looks pretty similar. Really wonder how those lanterns are staying lit in this storm. What, they got glass walls? That's ridiculous. This version seems to run a little faster, dude. A little less laggy, but maybe I'm just imagining that. Silver key? That looked pretty gold to me, but okay. Is there anything in these, uh, rear chambers? There's only one rear chamber. In the final version, there's two, and they both have nothing. So there's something. By which I mean not something. I wonder who's going to be here. I bet you it's Ganondorf. Oh! It's General Scales! Good camera! General Scales! Hiko, Kohud, or Taskuki, if dinosaur plan. He still speaks dinosaurese. Except for proper nouns. I don't remember her doing that animation, though. Maybe you couldn't see it. General. <laughs> So even though I don't have any sort of fast-forward, the audio does seem to get out of sync a little bit. Hey, Screech! That wasn't in the final verse. And that girl looked very painful. That claw went right through her. So did her own hand. Oh, 
General Scales! I wonder if he's related to King K. Rule. Echoing laughter there. Oh, the debug message is hiding it, but there's a little error message at the top of the screen. It says, like, 10-something-something isn't in Warlock. Because there's a text message missing from this map. Is she walking sideways? I swear her hips move more in this version. Because of course that's what I would notice. Your adventure begins? Oh, I'm not gonna tell us that. Oh, nice walking. Oh, no message. Just a flash of text box and that's it. Interesting. Nobody has much to say around here. And the animation is kind of uh, stuttering there. Keeps walking. And now we've got the inside the palace music, even though we're not... Well, I guess we kind of are inside it. Nothing in these boxes. What about here? Anything in this useless alcove? Nope. Although it's interesting that the rain doesn't come in there. It's fairly impressive. Get out of my way, dinosaur tail. I wonder if there is supposed to be something in there. Let's blow more things up! The explosion looks a lot bigger. smile looked a bit bigger on her face, too. But, yeah, none of the texts are showing up. Okay. I'll blow you up. Nothing special happened there. Get this last box. Nothing in it. You have anything to say? Nope. Ow. Stop killing me. Hey, baskets, were these always here? What the heck happened there? The basket exploded. Take that. Very bouncy egg. Or fruit, or whatever. Is that a hidden passage here? The ladder is. Oh, and unfortunately, we do have to put up with the very, very slow climbing. This ladder also looks very different and not very ladder-like. That wall's a little different. Anything over here? She has some trouble making these jumps. There's nothing here. Go figure. Oh, you can slide down, it just doesn't tell you. But you won't be able to jump off the stone walls, because that's part of the mod. Can I climb the back of the ladder? No. I can get stuck on it, though. I wonder what this is. It looks like almost kanji. Like Japanese writing. Probably based on that. But it ain't. Oh! The dude's just over here! It's a much less hidden spot for him. And again, it's not going to tell us what it is. And we can't see what it is either. Oh yeah, and we have to have that pop up now. Now we'll hit the barrel again. 
try not to let it get blown up too soon. Hopefully the hitbox works correctly. There we go. Did I talk to this guy? Oh, hey. Again, the text isn't centered correctly. Mm -hmm. That is a thing you can do. final game, there is some sort of time limit for carrying things before you automatically throw them. In this version, I guess they just explode instead. I'm not sure if it's a time limit or a distance limit. I think that dialogue is worded a little differently from the final, but essentially it's still the same message. No boxes blocking the way here. You still have to go back here for another barrel if you miss that one. I wonder why this doesn't generate a barrel until you get rid of the other barrel. Who designed that? Yeah, the explosions are just huge in this version. Get out of my way, dinosaur tail. You get stuck on their tails very easily here. Destruction of property. Good hitbox. Let's try that again. That's more like it. Some funky reflections. Put down with no space in it. Pick up with a very slight space in it. A lot more of these fruits or eggs or whatever they are. Yep, the fire's kind of yellowish, that's odd. A little more realistic, maybe. Do you have something to say? Okay. Keo Krizoa! Doot Uwe Kutsog! Keo Uhu! Doot Wo! Nos ag Uwe Keo Krot Keo Tash Kupsoduk! How? How did you say? No, no, who? Which is shot? She just kisses horn. Like Neo Kno, Owe Ted Wall Kutsoho. Kill King Earthwalker. Shot each game. He cast Kiaj Shushat Fusuzo. Kutsimo Eve Kao Krizoa. Keo Krizoa, Oho Fuso Fahad. Venovic Road U, Keo Rado Kevo Ke, O Kudak. Naki Keo Fahad, E Kudak Ash 2. Ash Kutsoho Jimo Kear Atsote. Wording is a little different again. And the text isn't different colors for different characters. Keo Fiho Eve Kutsuk. She's grinning an awful lot. Sound is way out of sync. So there's another little difference from the opening scene. Is that you don't see her walk toward the door, like you do in the movie there. And that guy called it a Grizoa Shrine, which I don't believe they ever do in the final game. I bet we can guess what's in that barrel. It's bees! No. It's not bees. Final game. Okay, take a little bit to 
finish the text there. In the final game, they are very rarely referred to as shrines. Nice A button prompt. The lighting is different on Crystal here. I'm not sure what's that. What that's about. More health, and just in case you needed it. This game is not stingy with health, that's for sure. Hey, wait a minute! That said, it's with an apostrophe. That is not correct. That means it is test. What the hell, Rareware? Making a simple grammatical error in a prototype version of your game. Poor shame. Whoa, 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 that wasn't there before. It's really flashy on the camera, dude. A lot of things sound different. The sound effects in general seem to be louder. Ow. Oh no, how will I ever cover that damage? If only there were health pickups all over the place. These cobwebs, I feel like, were less prevalent or less common as well. Come on, Mr. Metroid Fish. It's a Metroid and a jellyfish combined. It's a Metroid fish. Oh, thank goodness, a health power up. I haven't seen one of those in minutes. As usual, we need to get another barrel, and this guy is on the switch, so. Blow him up. You're in my way, so I'm going to blow you up. It's a good philosophy for life in general. Um, I can't set it down. Interesting. What? Hey, there's, like, sparklies on top of these flamethrowers. Oh, and... Also, that works differently. Is this one a flamethrower, dude? It looks like a warp pad, but I don't think it's actually a warp pad. Which sound back there? Didn't that jellyfish respawn? I saw the flash, but he's not here. It, what's he doing? He's like respawning and immediately flying up. Out of bounds or something. Also, there's no uh, viewfinder thing. That's just because I haven't bought that item yet. And we've got the Krizoa's private swimming pool. The water looks a little darker, I guess. Otherwise, it's the same. Hello, who are you? for the first round than he does in the final game. Nice uh, clipping glitch where he went behind the post. Crystal is just bored. Seems to favor the top one a lot in this version. It's not always the top, but it does seem to be the top often. Are 
those urns just pass through each other. Now, what happens if I fail it? Just seems like the same thing. Whoa! Nice texture glitch on your leg. Tail there. So, yeah, that's the same as the final, except the text isn't centered. Funky animation going on. facial expression going on. The eyes are actually glowing. They're not just purple. She's got laser vision. She's become super crystal. Super fox. I bet you if you mash A frame perfectly when that thing's here, I guess something funny will happen. And yeah, the warp does sound different. And there's no disabled A button. Oh, you can go back! Well, that's new. Couldn't do that before. I wonder if I can go farm more Grizzola Spirits. You can even hear her put the, the staff away. Well, I don't need to. Uh, oh, it won't let me return. I have to step off first. Yeah, in the final game, the warp is disabled once you've used it. Yeah, you can hear. When I'm mashing L and R there, it does the camera and shielding sound effects. <laughs> that glowing eye effect, wow. Glowing so intense that it even lights up the back of her head. It really looks funny for... Uh, were you saying something? There was no text. Yeah. Okay. Man, those guys are easy to kill. You can see her eyes to the back of her head. That's amazing. If this glitch is here. It's not. That's crazy. That glitch actually doesn't work in this version. It does in the final game. This area looks different. There usually was a border around this water. And the wind is a lot more pronounced here. And here there's no structure holding this water on. You'd probably just click through that if you truly tried. Anyway. This thing looks a little different as well. There's a lot of green and a lot more stuff surrounding it. Fancy metallic border thing. And we've got infrared vision right from the beginning. leg as well. Some flickering, and she's just kind of moving back and forth. <laughs> Everyone's got lasers. The Krizoa spirit just gives you lasers. That was certainly timed differently. The beam is still visible. 
much lower looks different. The room smells different. Hey, wait a minute. Is it normally raining during this scene? Hair looks a little glitched. Yeah, definitely the cinematography the scoring, the synchronization. It's all slightly different. I'm not sure what this piece is here. Is that always there? Hey, wait, it's Crystal! Oh, it's not Crystal. Okay, okay. I guess that's just his background. Down, nice uh, Nintendo branding on the laptop, though. Hey! hey. Slippy. It's General Pepper. General Pepper. Different portraits in the background. I have a new mission for you, Fox. You are approaching Dinosaur Oops. Planet, an ancient world on the edge of the lilac system. As you will see, chunks of the planet have been torn from its surface. It's your job to get them back. If Dinosaur Planet explodes, it could affect the entire lilac system. What is Rob the doing with his hand? The lead we have is that you must locate the Queen of the Earthwalker Dinosaur Tribe. Something is glitching hard there. Some polygons are just flickering all over the screen here. If you are successful, then the money will be forwarded to you immediately. Pepper out! You heard the general. Let's do it. Why was that screen on on that seat that isn't even occupied, though? You're just wasting energy, guys. Come on. Fly to Dinosaur Planet. can't select these, it just does nothing. Which is the same as the final. Can't spin quite as much because part of that was the camera control from the mod. But we can spin a little bit. Spin. General Papa here! Your mission takes place on Thorntail Hollow. Locate the Queen of the Earthwalker Tribe. She will help you further. Out. That mission briefing is a lot more succinct. And he doesn't go away, he just stays there, it's just flickering. And there's no instructions at the bottom of the screen. Pew, pew. That's not the right music, is it? The map text is disappearing there, I wonder what that's about. level looks slightly different. Ooh, freaking lasers. You got freaking uncensored or uncentered text. It is also uncensored, but there's nothing to censor anyway, so. Anything happen here but I feel like the enemies move a little slower. Okay, 420 points. Uh -huh. In the final version, you get something like... I forget how many, but it's like, I think 200 points just for finishing the level? I don't know if that's still true. Boom! Force field with no space in it. Now this is definitely different. In the final version, it shows the save file name and the top five scores. In this version, it's showing the top score for your save file for each level, which kind of spoils the levels. 
that was odd. Just showed the scene again there. Also, you may not have noticed, but the lettering on Thorntail Hollow was slightly glitched. And again, this doesn't seem like the right music. There's a flashing red light on the bottom of the R wing, which seems like. What? What did happen to Slippy? It seems like that should be there in the final because aircraft have flashing lights on them. Great flying, Hawks! For a moment, I thought you weren't gonna make it. Our wing was inside Great Slippy. Time, I will definitely have to double check that. I know. Now, on to business. The start button actually says start on it. Where's my mouse? You will open your communicator. Choose who you wish to speak to, and then. I want to speak to the eject button. Oh, I already made that joke last time. Oh, you're right. I had forgotten that in the two minutes since you last told me. Okay, General. But what about a weapon? Why couldn't I bring my blaster? Because you've never had a blaster. is about saving the planet, not blowing it up. It requires a different tactic. Try using your head. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll hit yeah, Very funny, sir. Fox out. Okay. Not much music. Just taking a minute to start. Let's see. Look at our information. Restores your life, that's it. Oh yeah, and there's all sorts of voice on here. This isn't in the final version, is it? I don't think the PDA shows up in this menu. This text is in the game, though. I could be wrong, but I don't remember it being there. There's a lot of flavor text on these, but well, for one thing, we can't read most of it. Oh yeah, there's another page. No, there isn't another page. In the final version, there's another page. Just shows which maps you have. Look around for a something sticking out of the ground. I will definitely look for a something. Some flickering going on here. This pause menu is glitchy. It's the same in the final version, too. I don't know why exactly. Sometimes... I remember having that problem before, and then something... I just resolved it. Bugs, speaking of. It's glowing. Rock. Speaking of the PDA, you have to actually turn it on. Map unavailable. And I'm gonna want to keep that on because there's a lot of differences in the hint text on it. For example, the R wing doesn't have any. But this is definitely different. Oh, I guess I don't need a translator, because he speaks English. Or he burps. Alright, I'll lift the rock. Huh. Guess I'm not that strong. Spores, that's all it says. Hmm. 
There's a something sticking out of the ground. What else can we do? Oh, these mushrooms actually have a description. There's no climbable thing here. Actually, there is. It just doesn't look like it. Let's grab this leg. Pure, concentrated leg. This has meant they have been scattered around everywhere. That's awkward phrasing, but... I guess it's not incorrect. No sound effect. And they don't show up on the HUD either, but they do show up here. The mod actually removes them from the inventory in the final version because there is no reason for them to be there. You never need to select them. Alright, let's go grab this stick. Oh, the PDA even knows what it is. The end of opened up. It's got a blur effect around it. This song is Star Fox theme. Yeah, I don't know why the fuel cells are just so laggy. It's odd. But now I found a stick. The color scheme is different here. That's actually something that they modded. That was just a nice little detail I thought I'd put in. Uh -oh. That sound was way behind sync. Someone's crying in the distance. Ooh, a diamond. I'll take that. Donk. I should probably stop donking my microphone. Ooh, now I can use magic, which I don't have. Thanks for waiting while I held that up. I guess it's only fair since you have magical blocking power. Ow. I don't think these guys ever drop magic in the final game. Congratulations, a button! Coming in really late there. He looks very upset. A rock! Hey, where's that health pickup? Oh, there it is. There's no fires here. Just stand here and hear someone crying. I can even equip that, but it's completely useless. That's different. The fuel cell is just hanging out there. 
egging the game. I can't jump up to it, though. Anything else obviously different around here? That dinosaur's on fire. Oh, wait, it's just a plant. These gems look different. They're more square. I think there's a little bit less detail around the water. Does this say anything? No. Whoa! What are you teleporting around there, Fox? getting the staff, he says, like, she mentioned a spirit cave or something. Which is funny, because no, she didn't. These guys are still here. Someone crying. She clearly has a broken leg. My name is Fox McCloud, and you must be the Queen Earthwalker. No, 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 Look at this no, leg. It's clearly broken. Did you get that, Slippy? You've got to go to the Ice Mountain and rescue her son, the Prince Tricky. Nice name. Okay, lady, I'll bring your son back to you. Says Fox the you Fox. Some directions? She said, everybody stop sleeping on the freaking bomb plant spots. You're gonna get yourself blown up. Fox is so annoyed That's by all Slippy. I need to know. I'll be back soon, Queen. Don't you worry. Haven't you finished that translator yet? It's nearly ready, Fox. I just need a bit more time. Slippy out. Fox is so sarcastic. It's great. All right, let's go. Blow up the path to the warp stone. Da 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 da
da da da That water looks pretty funny. react. That's a shame. Okay, fine, we'll bring you a gift. Also, now we have the explosive showing up on the HUD, which looked quite a bit different. Ow. Speaking of explosives... Fireworks. Should call them firework plants. They get to the fireworks factory. Well, this is different. There's a ladder here instead of a climb of a wall. Crystal's head is kind of big. Also, there's no jumping up ledge here. But the magic is still... Well, the curtain is still magic. Sure. The magic is still curtain. Feel Whatever. Free to look at the many wonderful items within these walls. I have food, special goods, and many maps. And if you like to play games, then enter the Scarab Room. Yes. Oh, and that's the exit. I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, okay, thanks. Now, Door looks a little broken if you there. Find something that you like, then choose it's just a missing item, chunk here, I guess. And we'll discuss a prize. Is that clear? Well... Good! Now, hurry and choose something. Or get out! Alrighty. I choose this. It <laughs> does nothing. I'm not sure if that's because I don't have enough money, or because it does nothing. No description for this thing. Which makes sense, because there's nothing in it. 70% is how much memory is being used right now. It goes up and down. LD1216 is the map numbers that are loaded. Then you've got coordinates under that, and a date code at the left. By which I mean the right. The secret room is still here, but it just has these in it. Nothing. 
and this. And this, which has no text, which I can't use. I don't need a map right now. Is there a secret here? item has a pretty great bug, which will probably come up at some point in the game. A lot of things not here. Ooh, the hit protector! We'll definitely need to buy that. That item does not exist in the final game at all. Tricky's ball, whatever that is. Fox zoom goggles for zooming in on foxes. And this thing! Oh, and this shopkeeper is especially clever in this version. Notice that the price was 10, but they're suggesting 8. No, that's too low. Then why did you suggest it? Okay, I'll sell it to you. Sometimes they start out at half of the actual price, and then refuse it. And you have to click one by one up to the actual price that they want. Warpstone apostrophe S. Love to get. Yeah, you said that. Two hundred years we've been seeing the same light over and over. So that's all that's in this room. Now if we don't tell him that we're broke, maybe he'll let us look around the other rooms. By which I mean this one more room that we haven't seen yet. These guys are in lava. Fortunately it doesn't hurt. My moon seed already. And this. Hmm. Couldn't buy that normally. Interesting prices on these items. Well, I guess that's all we're shopping for now. white flash on the screen. Sounds like there's still some shop music playing in the background or something. shake during this scene, I don't think it did. Suddenly bagpipes. <laughs> Who says boss Question mark. Question marks. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Help you? No. But you're a warp stone. You're supposed to help. Ah, uh, right. Let's see if I can remember what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Now, if you push left on the control stick. Then I'll send you to one of those warp stone thingies. We'll get back to that in a minute. And if you push forward on the control stick, then you can enter the maze. Ugh. Ah, 
Now this one's a bit special. I don't think he normally grumbles at that sort of point. Spirit, then push right on the control stick. And I'll send you to Krasoa Palace. You weren't supposed to start now, a sentence with and, buddy. You know what I do. So hurry up and make a choice. If not, then press B so I can get back to sleep. You weren't sleeping anyway, but let's go to the palace. Oh. Hi, Fox. Um? We're all back downloading. That is not the correct voice clip. Are you ready to walk? I guess so. Nice the menu is still up there for a sec. Interesting music. But he warps us back here. Yeah. I tried to bypass that, but it just kept crashing. I think it actually runs out of memory there. Now, fortunately, there is a way to work around that, but that's all for today. But I should also reload my save state and actually save the game. The maze is where you go to drop off cheat tokens. I guess I'll show that. Assuming it's the same in this version. Yeah, because this is supposed to be a I demo version. Oh. Okay. But you can keep you flapping your mouth long after you finish speaking. Are yeah, I guess because it's supposed to be a demo, it's coded to send you to the title screen instead of to Ice Mountain. And. When I tried to fix that, it would just run out of memory and crash. There is still a way that we can get to Ice Mountain. But I'm going to stop for today. But I will show off one more thing. If we push the Z on controller 3... Nothing will happen. Okay. I thought it was Z. Maybe it was something else. Maybe my controllers aren't set up correctly. Well, normally it would warp you to the world map from any point in the game. I don't know why it's not doing it now, but oh well. Maybe it's controller 2, which I don't have plugged in. And you can actually do that at the title screen to bypass the time limit, but it will crash when you finish the level. And we've already bypassed that, so... Next time we will figure out how to get to Ice Mountain, so... Tricky will find his way there somehow, because I think he'll probably hitch a ride on a spaceship. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to finish programming the like and subscribe buttons, and play the bells sound clip completely wrong, and I can definitely